Hello ladies and gentlemen, I found this video in the internet so I wanted to put it in my in my uh, channel so people see how Call of Duty is really really bad and everybody's cheating so this video is not mine, I don't boost uh, cheating but I want the people to be aware of this, what's going on with Call of Duty and well thank you and uh, I enjoy the video So you just put the USB when you want to insert your... Everyone's using this one because it's super safe. It's been safe for over a year now. Uh, you're gonna get shadowed, but you get your account back within seven days. I've been using that for a long time. Everybody that gets shadowed uh, saying, oh, I just got my account back means I'm not cheating. Stop getting shadow banned and that stuff. Oh, it just fucking lie. The game, press seven, uh, at menu, pretty standard at menu. Uh, ESP, loot, bear bar, uh, and that. The, everything about, uh, uh, to make it look as legit as possible. Uh, so it's not uh, rage hacking software. So the aimbot, even max setting, will look pretty, pretty close to aim assist. Uh, so if you put just legit setting, let's say you go halfway, it's gonna look like aim assist. You're gonna miss bullet, you're gonna get killed by, controller uh so it just looked pretty legit well same thing just basic basic you know just very basic back menu you can see everything there loot radar and by just a bit pretty basic hack uh, software so one way to do it you put your stick figures and your esd basically super pale uh transparency all the way up uh, even for me, it's hard to see. So, when I look through all like that, you guys can probably not see it. But I have walls on right now. How people make aimbot look uh, like aim assist, almost impossible to tell if, uh, if you have aimbot or not. Uh, I know there's people using crazy settings that's gonna snap on people. Uh, I'm not really targeting those people. I just wanna show how people that wanna look legit, uh, the streamer, TikTok, whatever they're doing. Uh, I wanna show how those guys do it to make it look like uh, it's aim assist. So basically everybody know how aimbot work. We got an FOV, little circle in the middle. I don't know if we can see it there. So basically everything in the middle of this circle so basically everything in the middle of this little circle uh, will register on target. So all I have to do is go in my aimbot settings, uh, smoothness I'll go right in the middle, stickiness right in the middle, uh, show FOV just so I was able to show you guys, I'll just turn it off, there's no point. And that's basically it. Okay, so what happened now is that everything in this circle uh, will have aimbot. But my aimbot is set so smooth that when I go on target, it's going to move slowly on target and then I'm going to lock on them. Uh, I'm not going to have some crazy uh, snap on people like that. It's not a thing. Nobody's using this when you see people doing this. Uh, the streamer or uh, whatever, they shoot and then they snap on something else. They're fucking with you. It's not a thing. And for me, I used, uh, you can select any key you want, hotkey, to talk about the aimbot. I just press my shooting button. Some people will put it on media, some people will put it on fire, some people will put it on other stuff. Uh, I like on fire because every time you shoot you get this aim assist. Technically aimbot, but you get aim assist. Uh, some people who use sniper a lot or other stuff, they're gonna put it on ADS so they get aimbot first and then they can shoot. Uh, everybody's gonna use either one of those keys. Nobody's gonna use foot pedal, uh, hand the lock software on their computer. It's way easier than it looks. It's, everybody's using small FOV, so you cannot snap on two target at the same time. And everybody's using a mouse button or either the fire button or ADS on controller. Nobody's using foot pedal, that type of stuff. Okay, so I can show you on targets. Uh, when I click, 
have the aimbot on. You can see this. It, it almost looks like Genesis. It's slowing down when I cross the target. Uh, yes, you can have people that's going to literally snap on it. We're still talking about the people that are trying to make it look like they're not cheating. Those ones are the ones using it. It's barely slowing down. You, can't, you guys can see my mouse. I still have to move it. And it's just slowing down. But if I decided to just shoot and not move my mouse, I kind of stick into it. I can even feel the recoil. Like, I still have to adjust my recoil. So basically what it gives me is a tiny aim assist. Uh, you can boost it up, but if you already have a decent shot, uh, you don't need high settings, so it's just safer. Nobody will know. Okay, and also I'm gonna probably make a quick video on how everybody's cheating in rank, and I'm just gonna prove it, basically. Uh, above diamond, it's almost everyone. I played yesterday for maybe four, five hours. I play maybe six, seven games. Uh, I was gold something I didn't play at all this season. And I went all the way up to diamond. Okay, so when I opened it today, I just realized I was shadow banned. Uh, I'm just hiding my Activision. Uh, I don't really care if they button this account, it's just a uh, alt account, but I'm still gonna try not to. Uh, so I got shadow banned. So basically what I'm gonna do, for me, it's always been seven days. Some people say six days, five days, three days, two days. For me, it's been seven right on time. Uh, if I'm banned tonight at 6 p.m., it's going to go to next week, 6 p.m., uh, right on time. Uh, so what I'm going to do this next week, uh, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to pay maybe for a couple more hours. And I'm literally just going to go all the way up to Crimson and Reticence, probably. Uh, it goes really, really fast. And I might get shadowed again, but I don't think so. Uh, for me personally, that's the first time I get shadowed on Ranked. Uh, I think it's because yesterday was kind of crazy. Uh, usually I never get shadow on rank. I'll get shadow in the war zone after two to three days. Uh, rank, it's the first time. You just do that type of shit. So when you see somebody can monitor like that, uh, trust me, they're cheating. So this is basically just a monitor cam, but uh, everybody's using this for war zone. Rank, everything. Uh, on the war zone, you're gonna get shadow banned, I'd say every two to three days, unless you like go crazy. But every two to three days. So all you need is three accounts, so you can rotate two shadow bands. So I get shadowed, I get on my second account. Uh, I have an account with Steam, and another account with uh, Battle, Battle.net. You get on the second, third account, and then you just rotate every time the shadow band get lifted, because they're all gonna get lifted. Uh, there's no anti-cheat at all whatsoever. So people that say that uh, they got shadowed and I got my account back, I keep getting shadowed non-stop, and I always get my account back because they cannot find anything, uh, because there's nothing to be found. They're not looking for anything. But, so there's no anti-cheat. It's not a thing. Done with uh, the Warzone X that you need to reset right away. First thing I do, I leave the game open and I don't even close the game. I just hit this and restart right away. And not one day I didn't. And an hour later, just come to an apex. I tried to queue in one game. Uh, I queued, I didn't even touch the ground and I got a permadeath for cheating. Doesn't even let me sign in or whatever anymore. I just completely disable. Oh, whatever. Uh, back to the gym ban. Doesn't say any reason, but so basically, easy impact cheat apex detected Warzone act after, I'll say, two to three minutes. I've been playing on Warzone for 